Well, I want to do commentary, so I cut my losses. Okay, well, uh, good to have up. you here. No, oh, thank you. Good to meet you. Good to be doing commentary. Uh, it's a good feeling. So let's get it. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, ketchup is uh, actually a main that I haven't seen much of, but I remember him from Smash 4 days. And he's still sticking to, to Bowser Jr. That's cool to see. Yeah. Uh, actually, while Cosmos was here, Ketchup did manage to beat him. Whoa. That's so. big. Like here today or like? No, not today. He, uh, his Cosmos is winners right now. But uh, he at, I believe it was at uh, Wednesday Night Fights that he played Cosmos. Uh, Cosmos went on to win that tournament as, as well, though. But uh, so that's that's pretty good for for him, at least like in local PR. I'm sure that's gonna go towards uh, you know like a, a nice little placement if you can make the PR. Uh, really, they really only care about placement for the local PR, and uh, because it's not a major, it doesn't really count towards her, his, uh, you know, his main PR. But it, it's a nice notch on your belt, like uh, when Kong Kong beat Zero, or um, yeah, I Nitro, I think, beats Zero as well, too, at some point. That's crazy. Ooh, nice back here. But that was a long time ago. Anyway, here, getting back to this game here, Void down against Ketchup right now. And one of the things that these Bowser Jr. players uh, uh, seem to be really good at, I mean, sure, their character is heavy, but even then, they seem to be really good at surviving with this character. And I think that's a little left over from the Smash 4 days, yeah. where <laughs> this character was not as good. You kind of had to do everything you could to live. Oh, yeah. Uh, so but I feel like that's hardwired for a lot of these Bowser Jr. mains. Like, for don't real. take big risks. Uh, yeah. But man, the hitboxes just are so, oh, so annoying sometimes, depending on who you play and how you play. I'm a, I feel like I'm kind of like, I'm mediocre, yeah, like, I'll still, I'll still beat everyone in, in like, a little party in yeah. my house, but coming to tournaments, uh, I get my booty handed to me, but, um, it's cool, it's always a learning experience to me, and it's always cool to see such, uh, high-level players. Intercepts the tether there, nice. Are you talking about, um, uh, Joker's Arsene hitboxes, or... Ketchup's, um, like, or, oh, sorry, uh, Bowser Jr.'s, like, forward air disjoints. Oh, that's actually a good question. Uh, yeah, the disjoints of his, like, forward smash and um, I think it was up smash. I think those are the main two ones. But th that's, those are the, those are the moves that always kill me, up smash or forward smash. I haven't played a Bowser Jr. in ultimate in bracket because I guess everything's scattered. But, um... And on that on that note, like uh, Joker's uh, hitbox is really annoying too, and just his speed. I don't know. He's just uh, really hard to deal with. Yeah, I think so. It's it's kind of a tricky matchup too because it, the the rules kind of change once that demon with the top hat is <laughs> out. <laughs> Little top hat, I like that. Alrighty, here. Ketchup once again. I'm living to 172. I can close that stock out. And I kind of, I don't know, I'm going to call it right now, but man, Void seems like he's gotten enough info, and I don't know if Ketchup is doing the same thing as Void right now, but I feel like this is like that moment where like Ketchup's either going to take the set or take the match right now, or Void is about to get a zero death. Yeah, it does sort of feel like that. Um, I think, uh, I mean, once again, Ketchup taking more damage here, but... We've sh he's shown that he for a while, and Void might just be dead from that. No, Not and that gets that tag. Nice. And I, I, I was gonna mention it earlier, but uh, I feel like you know you really have to just force Bowser Jr. to recover, and then he has nothing to do. Like after he's out of his his little car. Well, it's so easy to get them after that. I mean, not so easy, but... His hammer is actually a pretty big hitbox, and it makes it difficult to mess with him. Wow. wow, jab. He's going to take it. Yeah, kind of just holding his own and not letting Void really uh, figure out his gameplay, or at least figure out his own, Void's own angle to get the match. Yeah, Void down a game against Ketchup. Wow. Uh, winner's quarters, so...
If Ketchup wins this next game, Void is going into losers. And Ketchup is going to be in grands? He's going in, he'll go to winner semis. Oh, semis. And uh, I think he'll, he'll play... Oh, Leo, no? I don't know who's on the other side of his spot. He, he uh, either play like Leo. Cosmos, Cosmos. Leo, or um, who's the other guy in... Is it Larry? No, it, Larry, or Larry. But, uh, high caliber players to be sure. You'd expect to see Void there, but unless he can take care of his business right now, he's going to be sitting in losers. Yeah. Uh, it's no disrespect to catch up. So, in the current no state of like to win, <laughs> right? In the, in the current state of like uh, these players, is Joker like a secondary or a main for? The Void. Well, Void's been switching around characters quite a lot. He was playing uh, uh, Sheik for a while, actually. I thought he was committing to the character because he sort of made his glorious return. Ooh, oh, goodness. gets the clown car. Not going to take the stock here, but still, that uh, extra damage is going to be huge. And this meter is almost gone for Void here. He really wants to take this stock. I mean, if he can, he'd be in a good spot. He'd be ahead of the stock here against the catch up. Wow. This is really good gameplay from both of them, but particularly, like, catch up is. He turned it up from last match, which is. It's good to see that, because that's exactly what I think he needed to, to awaken, to not lose to someone like Void. I think he just footstooled him there. Maybe. Yeah, that's that's kind of stuff you gotta do against someone who just safeguards their recovery this much. Yeah, no, so Void, uh, for the first time in the set, has a stock lead. Let's see if he can make the most of it here. Void is a great camping character. I mean, sorry, uh, Joker is a great camping character. But he, but he is a character, too. Yes, he is. Aren't we all? Sure. Well. And, Void came up to me one day at like, I think it was Leo Saga or Civil War. And I was with my friend Albert, who was like one of the mods for the uh, admins for the Facebook group for SoCal. And he came up to Alb because he knew him. And he came up to, I was sitting next to Alb. And then he made up a handshake for both of us. Like, he spent like five minutes making up a handshake. You're talking about Void? Yeah. And I was like, I don't know this guy, but I know who he is. And he knows my friend, but I don't know. Uh, the whole thing. He doesn't remember. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Nothing matters. But that was cool. It was fun. Yeah, that does sound pretty cool. Uh, now, uh, our center's going to be out here. The armor on the clown cow are bailing Ketchup out here. And up there, well, this is exactly what Ketchup needed. Now that Void is off stage, he has a chance to just bleed out this Arsene. Um, but now, his tables have turned. And, and he Void caught the Koopa. Yeah. That was crazy. Cause that was like, he was in the little like off-screen bubble when he caught the Koopa. Oh my god. That was crazy. Did the did it ricochet? The so cannon? he he used the, uh, he had the Mecha Koopa out. He shot the cannonball. And the the Mecha Koopa latched onto Void. And the, the cannonball hit him to the side of the screen. And the Mecha Koopa exploded and killed him. That's awesome. So, uh, amazing setup coming out from Ketchup, and that may have just won him the set here. He's running away with this. Yeah. With another hit here. Uh, if Boyd can't even find the kill with Arsene here, and as I say that, he does, but He's like, Ketchup doing say, a great don't job. Don't say Jack, yeah. don't say Jack. Ketchup doing a great job. He just waits out the meter. Up there. Okay, Boyd firing back here, 44%. So this is almost like a reverse scenario of last game. Like, uh, I feel like Void was in a deficit like this, and he had to figure out how to win just the way Ketchup has to figure out how to get this win right now. Down air. Ooh, okay. Void reverses the situation on, mm, on Ketchup That's a nice here. tomahawk attempt. Okay. Down air. Kaleo up in here. Yeah. Oh yeah, he is up in here though. Kaleo's he definitely is. Okay, Dragnar on the platform. Air dodges to avoid the F smash though. Oh, Ooh. back air. Nice. Yep. Void. Yep. That's that's what I do too. Whenever someone beats me like that, I'm like, all right, yeah, let's 
It's the nod, dude. It, at all levels of Smash, all levels of fighting games. Yeah. It's just the nod. It's, I, we I all know realize. that person who's like, no, that was not right. That shouldn't have happened. Yeah, there's a lot of them who come yeah. to these events, too. Uh, I think that's something that comes with maturity. Right? But yeah, Void just uh, saving himself there from an early loser's run. Yeah. And I love seeing, you know, uh, you know, top players switch up their mains like this or try out their secondaries because I feel like it's kind of like a totally different like thought process that they're going through. And so, I don't know. I like to see all the different types of like meta unfold and seeing a top player go someone other than their own character. I don't know. It's just like a... I like to see it when they go full force and don't switch back to their main because then it's like, all right, you know what? I don't want to lose. But to like let yourself like get to the point where like I'm gonna lose if I don't change my characters, but you know what? This is good for science. Oh yeah, I think um, sticking it out with the character definitely allows you to develop skills with that character. Maybe uh, you know sometimes it's in those difficult situations where you really push yourself and learn the character intimately. Um, catch up, putting a put sixty percent on Void. Almost enough damage to send Void into his Arsene thing, and now Arsene is coming out. I just, I just love how the, the car just like deflects all the you know, super armor of the side beat. Yeah, side beat. Uh, it was pretty funny, especially with Ketchup just kind of like, oh, you've got Arsene, I'm just let, <laughs> about to head out. Yeah. Drive away. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, Arsene's such a powerful uh, swing in this matchup. I saw Boyd just needed to get a few hits, and Ketchup is now down the stock here. Looking like that first game never even happened. But it did. It's going on the records. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. I mean, you can you can go there and look at that video. And look at this video for sure. I would look at it every day. Every day. <laughs> Snatches him out of the air. Man, that's just rude. Yeah, Void is uh, definitely playing really well right now. That is gonna, no. I always forget who has a good back air, like a back, a skill throw, what does it call him? Oh, who is the stronger, like, kill throws? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I think uh, Bowser Jr.'s strongest kill throw is his back throw, but it's not really that strong. Mike, like, uh, I think he needs to get him to about. Yeah, and that was that was smart. Like, that was like uh, a very Mango thing to do. Like, uh, I remember Mango talking about in an interview that like that invulnerability at the beginning of your stock is the the I don't care at all. Like, I don't give any cares. Yeah, and yeah. just you know. Just do go something, for some yeah, crazy. Go some, some hard read or something like that. So he you dropped down and did his up smash. Yeah. I thought that was good. You yeah. know, why not? But crazy enough that Void was able to block that. I yeah, know. I don't see. The thing is though that uh, your opponent, especially uh, the character with the mobility like Joker, is more likely to just run away from you. Yeah. Ain't that the worst? And they're like down tilt. Ooh, that's it with the the down tilt. Yeah. A little lick. And I wasn't talking about Bowser's down tilt, so that's funny that I happened. Yeah, yeah, I guess it is. Alright. That ledge here. Boyd just waits it out. Ooh, he could have followed up on after that Nair. But I don't think Ketchup knew that it was going to connect. Oh, it's kind of a small middle like here. here. It's not looking good for Ketchup here. He's been sent off the stage two times. Ooh, did he air dodge? Like, non-directional air dodge as he upbeat? Uh, yeah, you can you can up B when you're after you up B. I mean, uh, you can air dodge after Bowser Jr.'s up B. I don't think you can directly, directionally air dodge though. I'm oh, really? Not sure about that. Okay, Ketchup. He's making a comeback here, but yeah, yeah. So that was like yes. uh. That was Void's learning process from game one to game three. It was just like, all right, 